Hey, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the Capricorn bonus birthday reading <clears throat> for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Excuse me, I'm having some throat stuff, some throat chakra stuff. So as always, I'm going to do a couple spreads for you guys. These are very, very, very general, okay? So please take them as they resonate. They will not be for everybody. It's just a little fun bonus thing that I do for every sign during their season, okay? So Capricorns, let's get started. Like I said, super general. It's not just romance. It could be money. It could be career, it could be health, it could be self-growth. It could also apply to someone in your environment or someone you know or someone you're energetically attached to. It doesn't have to be you directly, okay? And like I said, these are not for everybody, so please don't try to make it fit, okay? All right, so let's start with the first one. <clears throat> I'm starting with the Beautiful Creatures deck, so let's go ahead and get into it. Any messages for my Capricorns? Building blocks? That was weird. Building blocks came in really strong. Building blocks, building blocks. Building blocks one at a time. Hmm, Capricorns, one at a time. I think you're getting a lot of downloads, Capricorn, about, um, <coughs> oh, goodness. You're getting a lot of uh, downloads about upcoming, what? Upcoming projects, sorry, it's like they gave me a lot of ones. Um, upcoming projects, some of you, it's actually, you might even see visions of yourself, <laughs> okay? That's not for everybody. You might be seeing visions of yourself, like, in their very near future or far down the line, Wow. Okay. I that's like that's crazy. I'm loving that for you guys. Um, but one at a time. One at a time. It's not a sprint. It's not a sprint. Um, baby steps. Baby steps with getting there. Get baby steps of getting to your goals and accomplishing your stuff. As always, Capricorns. We know you like a plan. Okay. But don't overdo it. Don't jump any steps. Don't skip any steps. Any messages for my Capricorns? Any messages for my Capricorns? One more shuffle. It's a big deck, so it's a little hard to shuffle. Okay. Any messages for my Capricorns? Any messages for my Capricorns? Ooh, page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, take caution. Okay, take caution. Be careful. Don't be careless. Don't be careless here, okay? I think you're really eager. You're jumping at the bit, especially once you actually start getting downloads or visions about about yourself or seeing yourself. So you guys are going to get really eager to get that started. Some of you are just going to have epiphanies as you're out and about. After a long period of feeling stuck is what they're telling me for a lot of you. After a long period of feeling stuck, um, this is also going to happen when you're out in nature, they're telling me. I'm actually seeing ocean. I'm seeing bodies of water. Yeah, when you're out in nature specifically. It doesn't have to be what I just said, but like nature specifically, you're going to get a lot of epiphanies. Ooh, yeah, be careful. Three of swords, Libra energy. Don't run and trip on your shoelaces. That's so weird how they're saying this to me. Don't don't run and trip on your shoelaces. Capricorn, someone might have, might have been very careless with your heart. I'm also getting that. <clears throat> someone had been very, very careless with your heart here. Someone's immaturity is very unflattering major turnoff is actually what i'm hearing major turnoff this could be a friend doesn't have to be a romantic interest but it's really getting under your skin for some i'm hearing their their true age is showing their age is showing any other messages for capricorn regarding this spread any other messages for my capricorns regarding this spread eight of cups in reverse yikes piscean energy Having a really hard time letting go of a disappointment. Having a really hard time letting go of someone who let you down. If you if you trip up on yourself ever regarding your plan, maybe you build these building blocks a little too fast. And when you build something up really fast, sometimes it's not build on, built on solid ground. If it crumbles, because some of you guys will be experiencing that or have experienced that recently, you're having a hard time getting over it. You're having a hard time getting over it. So you, some of you might even... Um, <clears throat> Be surprised that you might get some communication from someone from the past. It's coming up so you can heal it. It's part of your process. It's part of your transformation. Getting a lot of downloads for a lot of different people, so just hang in there, okay? Come on. Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn regarding this spread? Some of you pains holding you back. Now we have the page of wands. There are your epiphanies. There are your ideas. The creati creative passion is what I just heard. Creative passion. Yeah, you're you're really stuck here, Capricorn, because of some <clears throat> excuse me. 
because you were either too careless in building something and it crumbled, leaving you very disappointed, very upset, um, and unable to move past it, feeling a little bit like you're in a rut, okay? Others of you, you were um, dealing with someone who was immature that made you very, um, <coughs> Jesus, that really let you down. <clears throat> They really let you down and it's holding you up. Some of you, this is old pain from the past as well, holding you up in this rut. But it's, honestly, it's for a purpose. It's so you can work on it and heal. And you're going to get epiphanies out of nowhere. Some of you, this is actually going to be um, also ideas and the visions that I was picking up on that you're going to be seeing of yourself. Again, not everybody will be having those visions. Let's keep going. Any other messages for Capricorn? Whoa. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Oh my God, a card from a different deck flipped out of this deck. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. This is having things not go in your favor or feeling stuck, feeling stuck. I'm gonna put this back. That is so weird that it did that because I used this deck earlier today, uh, the one that the, that card just flew out of, but I didn't use it with this deck. So that's really weird that it got stuck in there. Like, is there another one that I don't know about? Nope. And then the messages for Capricorn, excuse me. <clears throat> overall energy ooh, magician in reverse mercurial energy so virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for me as a reader divine masculine energy this is the inability to manifest it's also manipulation and trickery some of you were dealing with someone who you could, who you view as manipulative and that's what's holding you back that's what you're struggling to let go of but with the page of wands you will you will let go of it because you're going to get a lot of ideas and a lot of a passion back into your life of to get away from this and to move on from it because you are struggling to manifest as well okay <clears throat> others of you are going to be hearing from this person others you'll be hearing from this individual it's almost like returning to the scene of the crime is kind of how it feels for those in that boat and it's honestly only happening so you can heal that's the that's it to heal it close it up release it move it on that's it OK, a lot of these returns we're having right now because it is eclipse season. This this is a really, really awesome eclipse season and honestly, an eclipse year. We have a lot of eclipses this year. I don't I don't remember how many, but it's a lot. It's more than a few. Is it six, seven? I don't think it's eight. That'd be really a lot. It's more than a few. We're having more than a few eclipses this year. <clears throat> And with eclipses, one thing that we really haven't been focusing on at this time, or at least I've noticed in the community we haven't been focusing on, is eclipses do return the past to you. Eclipses do do that, so you can deal with it, get rid of it, close it out, okay? Well, let's look at the Page of Pentacles in reverse. It's that carelessness I was picking up on. I mean, he's gilded for this one. <laughs> Put up the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, a lot of you are tired of feeling stuck. Talking about Page of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding this spread. Talking about the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding this spread. Talking about the Page of Pentacles in reverse for Capricorn regarding this spread. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. This is instability, losing a foundation, losing a relationship, losing job security, losing a home. Breaking up a home is also what I heard. Some of you had bad investments. Some of you had bad investments and actually lost a home. Yeah, for some of you, this is that building blocks that you went too fast with. You went too fast with. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Others of you, you were dealing with someone who's very immature, could have been immature with money, but either way, the immaturity was too much. Immaturity was too much. Their focus was elsewhere. They had other priorities. Talk about Page of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't Serene energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like you were dealing with someone who's a little codependent. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, their, their priorities were mixed up. Uh, their priorities were mixed up. I feel like they were, um, this is weird, also overly money focused. And I think that was part of the attraction initially or why you two started dealing with each other, either in a friendly way a working situation or romantic or otherwise. I'm also getting issues with, mo with mothers. I'm also getting issues with mothers. Some of you might be confronted by your mom. 
Wow. Yeah, I heard a hard yes on that. So you might be confronted with your mom and you might be realizing how much pain is still there that you thought you got rid of. That was really holding you back and pursuing your quests, pursuing your projects, pursuing your path. And it's also been keeping you from manifesting exactly what it is you want. Getting all kinds of messages for you guys. Tell so a page of pentacles in reverse. Final page of pentacles in reverse. Others of you were just really, really hurt by <clears throat> your investments not panning out. <clears throat> for some of you lost money, some of you lost security. For those of you who were really, really hurt by this individual, or many individuals, a lot of you, it's also family related, okay? Talk about page of pentacles in reverse or people you lived with. I'm hearing lived with specific specifically. Talk about page of pentacles in reverse. Oh yeah. Talk about page of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Talk about page of pentacles in reverse. We have Queen of Swords in reverse out here. Talk about page of pentacles in reverse for Capricorn. Woo! Talk about page of pentacles in reverse for Capricorn. Wow. If this is not a family dynamic, I don't know what is. Now we have Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water. We now have the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Air. Almost a fire. Someone could deal with a fire sign or fire could be important for you. Over energy. Page of Cups in reverse. We now have, quite literally, a King and Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups in reverse. Some of you, this is definitely about a family dynamic or someone you have children with, Okay. Uh, Queen of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I am getting a bit of divorce energy or separation for some of you. That applies here. There is dishonesty. There is dishonesty around this individual. And for those where you invested in something and you lost out or you were excited to build something up quickly, it was built on dishonesty. I'm not saying you were dishonest. I think whoever was involved in your building was not completely honest with you. Okay. And we do have a masculine energy here. It can, it can be a female. It can be you. But this is someone who actually is in very well in control of their emotions. The other person is not, okay? We have someone who has mastered their emotions, someone who's very balanced, someone who's very grounded, has a lot to give, wants to give as well, wants to give. We have an energy over here who's a little codependent, not um, very emo not emotionally unstable. I don't like saying it like that because people think that means crazy. <coughs> it doesn't mean that. It means someone who um, is a little se overly sensitive and reacts um, inappropriately according to that and with the queen of swords in a verse <clears throat> is someone who also doesn't think very rationally okay yeah priorities were mixed up is what i'm hearing priorities were mixed up wow <clears throat> capricorns hold on oh uh, been joking all day today all right let's go to the three of swords there's the pain there's the disappointment and this is what's been holding you back from your new ventures, from seeing what it is you want to do, from seeing the whole plan of what's ahead, and from being able to manifest what it is you want. Okay, some of you, this pain's associated with these individuals that we just went over. <clears throat> Others, it's just disappointment from having a plan and having it fall apart on you. Capricorns, you're not really you're you really struggle when a plan falls apart because you that you are planners. Like that's just who you are. <laughs> you're planners. You're the long term goal people. You usually can hold it together. You're the oldest earth sign. But when a plan falls apart and it feels like it fell apart in its entirety with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it can be devastating. It can be devastating for a Capricorn. So let's go ahead and look at the Three of Swords. Uh, we'll do Radiant Wise. <clears throat> Tell me the Three of Swords for Capricorn regarding this spread. <clears throat> They keep telling me divorce, okay? That's definitely a play for some of you here. Time out Three of Swords for Capricorn. Time about Three of Swords for Capricorn. Time out Three of Swords for Capricorn. <laughs> I was just like, what is that? What was that? Oh God, that's an oily truck, not oily truck. What, what does that mean? Squeaky, <laughs> squeaky truck. Tell me about Three of Swords. <clears throat> Tell me about Three of Swords. For those where this was an investment, like a business investment or money investment, um, yeah, I'm getting like business and money. It's made you afraid to start anything new in that arena on your own. 
dumb for the entrepreneurs out there. So I bought three of swords <clears throat> for Capricorn. But you know, Capricorns, I was thinking about this earlier today, actually. So it's interesting it came up in your reading. Um, <clears throat> sometimes things fall apart just so we can really learn from it so that when we try it again, we know how to go at it at a much, a much better approach. You know what I mean? So, so look at it that way. Look at it that way for those in the investment boat. So I'm out three of swords for Capricorn. Let's see here. Card vomit. Hold on. I just want to get the one card that's facing up. Emperor, Aries energy. <clears throat> it's also Mars because so it could be Scorpio. Also, it's Taurus for me as um, as a reader, divine masculine energy. This is being the boss, okay? Being the boss, being head honcho. It's also a father figure, patriarchal figure, CEO. Someone who's been on the block quite a few times. <clears throat> Seen it all, okay? Seen it all. Ugh. I'm hearing leader. I'm hearing leader. This person could have disappointed you. You could have had a lot of issues with parental figures and that could be coming up for you. But I really feel like you, like you wanted to be boss. I really feel in that way you wanted to be boss. That's what they're telling me. You wanted to be boss. I feel like that even applies to romance. Someone put you in the boss position? Wow. Capricorns. For some of you, someone put you in the boss position just to take advantage. And that's definitely romantically speaking. And you took that on because you were comfortable with it. And then you realize after the fact what that meant to this person. That's only for some of you, not for all of you. Again, take all these messages as they resonate. I'm getting a lot of messages for different people, okay? <clears throat> Tell me more about the Three of Swords. Tell me more about the Three of Swords. See what we got here. Oh, we got a lot of cards that just came out. Four cards just came out. Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. And then we have, yikes. Wow, look at all those cups. Oh my God. Six of Cups in reverse and Seven of Cups in reverse are both Scorpionic. And then we have the Three of Cups in reverse, Can't Syrian energy. This is having clarity of a lot of disappointment and realizing that people were not supporting you, realizing that people didn't have your back. Some of you thought you were going to be celebrating with someone or many people. Some of you thought you were going to be celebrating an investment or an accomplishment and that hasn't come through. That hasn't come through. And with the seven of wands in reverse, it's not really, it's ha not having confidence. It's not having confidence. I'm actually getting exposed, like feeling exposed, feeling very vulnerable, feeling fragile, embarrassed, feeling embarrassed. Let's see what else wants to come up. So I'm about three of swords for Capricorn. Guys, really, sometimes we fall just so we know how to get up, you know? Talk about three of swords for Capricorn. Talk about three of swords for Capricorn. Overall energy. See, beautiful. Look at that. 801 Sagittarian energy. This is moving on past it. You will move on past it even if you if it's holding you up right now. It's holding you up right now so you can work through it. Okay, that, that's it. That's the only reason it's coming into your awareness. And for some of you, this person who's wrapped up in this disappointment, whether it's just a financial kafluffle or a romantic or a friendship or family, it's being brought up now so you can really put it to bed, okay? Because it has been holding you up. Emotionally, it's been holding you up, okay? And it's been keeping you from manifesting. And a lot of you were dealing with tricksters and manipulators, especially that energy I was picking up on where it's like, they put you in leader position or they put you in alpha position or they put you in boss position and it does feel more romantically speaking. It can also be family. Hard yes on that as I said that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Only to take advantage of you so they didn't have to do anything. I'm sorry. That is like such a Capricorn problem. It's not even funny. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at the page of wands. Let's look at the page of wands and then we'll move on to another spread. Um, we'll do cosmic. Let's do the cosmic. Tell me about the page of wands for Capricorn regarding this spread. Tell me about the page of wands for Capricorn regarding this spread. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. Capricorn, big message for some of you. Some of you are realizing that you had some major codependency issues relating to um, uh, masculine energies. Uh, specifically, I'm getting like uh, authority figures. Authority figures could even be just like that could even just be like a father figure, a grandfather figure. But they're telling me authority figures from when you were a child, from when you were a child. You were on your own more than you should have been. You gr you you grew to resent authority figures, but at the same time you were codependent because you didn't have that authority to help you understand how to um, how to go about life, <laughs> how to go about life, and how to feel safe. And that made you codependent, and that made you very unstable. And you worked past. I feel like a lot of you have worked past a lot of that. Some of you will be working past that now. Some of you will be working past that now. For those where this is like a father figure or grandfather figure, I'm actually even hearing older brother. Interesting. I'm hearing older brother. Uh, they're aware of that. And they're ashamed of that. Wow, that's very specific. Okay, page of wands. I know, I'm just, I'm really tapped in today. Talk about page of wands for Capricorn. Talk about page of wands. For Capricorn. Talk about page of wands for Capricorn. Tell me about page of wands. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Seven of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. And then we have the queen of pentacles. Capricorn energy. Could also be earth or water. God, I do feel like this is you just trying to look ahead. Okay. Seven of swords in reverse. A lot of people. I really just feel a lot of people. Not just one person. But one person I think is bringing this issue up for you so you can deal with it. You've been backstabbed, you've been betrayed, people have gotten away with shit when it comes to you, and you are still standing strong. You are still a very much a nurturing person. Some of you have overcome codependency, some of you will be overcoming co codependency during this time um, as you're resonating with this reading, okay? Those of you who might be hearing from another energy, they're acknowledging. They're acknowledging what they've, what they've done to you, okay? I'm getting like legal. Some of them might actually stole from you. That's weird. That's where that's coming up. Some of them might have actually stole from you. Wow. Some of you are going to be made aware that they did steal from you, but you didn't know before. Jeez. Oh, Capricorns. Do we even need another spread? <laughs> There's so much information in this one reading. Time around with the page of wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands for Capricorn. I mean, this is a big theme for everyone right now is doing this kind of healing to this kind of integration. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Oh, this is beautiful, though. I like this. Oh, I love this. I love this. Princess of Swords, also the page, also known as the page, because it's the princess with the devil in reverse Capricorn energy. You were cutting away those karmic ties. You're cutting away from codependency for those who are still needing to work through that. Others are getting, you're just getting away from that, from that pain and those wounds that were really weighing you down. This is also integrating your shadow. Yes, I'll be doing a video on that most likely in the beginning of next week. Okay, today's Sunday where I'm at, but most likely in the beginning of next week, I'll be able to do that. I'm also getting a lot of inner child stuff. The younger you. I just heard the younger you. Princess also indicates that explicitly in this deck. The younger you has, wow, has been freed. Jesus, that's a big message. Oh, Capricorns, we always end heavy, don't we? <laughs> the younger you has been, has been freed from those traumas. Oh my God. Free from programming is also what I'm hearing. It's also, uh, you've been freed from the programming. Free from the programming. You've done enough reflection, reflection, Capricorns. You've done enough reflection. And some of you, this is coming up because you're hearing from this per person or people. Others of you, you're just realizing it through your own epiphany because you're getting epiphanies of your future and of what's ahead for you and what you really want. And that's helping you to release the things that you haven't released yet. Over energy, the chariot, which is just perfect. Cancer and energy, you are going to be somewhere else in the very near future, okay? Physically, emotionally, um, <clears throat> spiritually, you're gonna be elevated in some fashion, in some aspect of your life in that way that I just described, okay? 
but you're just moving on. You're moving on and you're you're freeing your younger you. God, that's deep. Oh, Capricorns. <laughs> okay. That was the first spread. I'm I'm like, God, that was like, I can't believe how many messages came out for you guys in that one spread. You guys always get a lot of messages. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little like a little overwhelmed. Uh Capricorns, let's move on. Let's move on. What spread? What spread? What deck do I want to start with? Actually, I haven't used this one in a while. Is it ready? Oh, shoot. It's not ready. Um, oh, damn it. I really wanted to use it, too. They're telling me to use it. Mm. All right. Well, they're telling me to use it, so I'm going to use it for you, Cappies. Let's go into the second one. Using Steampunk as the primary. Any different messages for my Capricorns or messages for a different group of Capricorns? I find that sometimes all of these spreads relate to each other, but for some people, they just resonate with one. So again, these aren't for everybody, but take it as it resonates. Any messages for my Capricorns? <clears throat> different messages, please, or messages for a different group of Capricorns? Any messages for my Capricorns? Different messages or for a different group of Capricorns, please? Okay, that feels pretty good. Different messages for my Capricorns or messages for a different group of Capricorns? <laughs> Do you see that? Two of Wands, decision time. Decision time. You know you can change your direction is what I'm getting. And then we also had, whoa, whoa, quite a few cards that just came out. We have four that came out together as well. Full in reverse, <clears throat> Aries could also be Aquarius, which is Uranus. Queen of Swords, Libra could also be um, air or water. Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpio stuff on your readings. And then we've got the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be fire or water. I'm getting fear, honestly. There's a crossroads moment happening here and someone's afraid to just leap. Someone's just afraid to do it. Like it's it's right there. Green pole or red pole, which I think is kind of funny. Actually, it always reminds me of the matrix. Green pole or red pole, it's right in front. It's right in the person's view, whether this is you or someone you're connecting with. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. Full in reverse, afraid to take that leap, afraid to take that jump. Five of Cups in reverse is getting over something. It's almost just like getting away from the past. So it's very familiar with the first spread here. But this is fear. This is totally fear-based. The other energy was more like just being stuck and being in a rut, not sure of what to do next or what is entailed in the future. This is knowing it. This is seeing it, but not leaping. Not leaping. And it's interesting, we have two queens here. It's the energy of clarity and the energy of action. Yeah, th this is just knowing to do it. Knowing what to do, knowing exactly what it entails, and just being afraid to do it. Wow, okay, Cappies. This could be someone that you're connecting with. Feeling that's more, I'm, I'm feeling that's holding true for a lot of you who are resonating with this, that it's someone you're connecting with, so it's probably going to be vice versa. Yeah, Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy, just moving forward. Someone's just simply afraid to. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding this spread? Lizards? I've been getting a lot of lizard stuff the last couple of months. Lizards. Someone really likes lizards. Think someone's really into herpetology. They're showing me all these different kinds of lizards. Yeah, someone's really into lizards. I don't know. Someone needed that confirmation. Someone's really into lizards. And snakes and frogs. Yeah, herpetology. Someone might be uh, wanting to study herpetology or needing to study herpetology. Eight of Pentacles in a verse. Virgo energy. And yeah, not working on moving forward. Okay. <laughs> not working on moving forward or needing a course direction as well with this. Specifically in work or just life in general. But I'm getting work. I am getting work here. I'm um, very strong. We have two eights here. Very auspicious. Let's see what else wants to come out. Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn? You know, herpetology is really, sorry, I just have to go back to that. That was such a cool channeling. Herpetology is actually really interesting. And you know, the frog populations are really low. It's actually kind of sad. The frogs are really in danger. They really are. 
Anyway, they're just very sensitive, like, to changes in the environment. I'm not going to go there. Sorry, I'm nerding out. Any other messages for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Last card. King of Pentacles. Taurian energy. Could also be Earth or air. I'm hearing water. This person has strong water placement. Moon. I just heard moon. Wow. Wow. Very specific. For some of you, this person has a has a moon water placement. Placement. Yeah, this is just fear of, of, of just moving on and moving on the right path, moving on to the right path. For some, it's almost a fear of making the wrong decision, but it's right in front of your face. Whether this is you or someone you're connecting with, like I said, for most of you, the latter is going to be true, where it's someone who's connect who's connected to you energetically, who's just afraid to make that move, afraid to put the past behind them, afraid to put in work as well, afraid to put in work into moving on. It's almost like they're afraid to become this king. Whether that's you or someone else, it's fear of taking responsibility. Also, fear of of having having obligations, a uh, fear of consequences of of being irresponsible for a lot of things or a lot of people. I'm just hearing management as well. On the bottom, wow, holy shit! Ace of Cups in reverse, Jesus. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Wow, Five of Wands, Leo energy. If that's not a fear of love, I don't know what is. <laughs> Sorry, that's amazing to me. This is someone who's really defensive over love. Really defensive about it. Like, get love the hell away from me. I want nothing to do with it. I want nothing to do with it. That's what I'm getting with that. That's driving this person's fear. That's driving this person's fear. Wow, let's look at the two of wands. I'm actually going to use Lenormand deck for this one. This person, not only are they afraid to be responsible for a lot of things, they're afraid to be responsible for someone's heart, which I think is kind of like a weird way to say that. Because it's like, is it really someone's responsibility, like, other than your own, you know? Oh, that was weird. This is weird how that came out. Anyway, let's look at the two ones. Mm, yeah, let's do OG. Tell me about two of wands. By the way, I just call this the OG deck. <laughs> I just call it that because it's just the first one that I started using. Um, but you'll look below that this is actually the other one I use is a special edition one. Okay, so this is the not special edition one. Tell me the two of wands for Capricorn. Tell me the two of wands for Capricorn. For, for some, wow, this is interesting. It's almost like a fear of letting go of the past because once this person lets go of past pain around love, it's like they subconsciously know that opens the door for new love to come in. And they're terrified of that. Tell me about two of wands. Tell me about two of wands for Capricorn. Regarding the spread, tell me about this two of wands energy. Tom of two wands. Oh, geez, that's too many. Too many spirit. Less cards, please. Tom of the two wands. Yeah, this person doesn't want to budge. Okay, well, you can give me some cards, please. <laughs> I bet the second that I said that, it's going to happen. Oh, there we go. The tree with seven of cups. Confusion. This person's not super... I don't want to say they're confused. They're just afraid. They're just afraid. The tree is um, a card of um, organic. It's it's also about something that's slow moving. Slow moving can also indicate ancestry or family, but I feel like it's that slowness. It's the slow. Someone's taking their sweet ass time. Because they, they're going to say they're confused. They're not confused. They're afraid. There is a con there is a difference. Wow. Another seven. Two sevens and two eights going on in your reading here. Uh, seven of swords attached to this, right? Oh, no. So I'm sorry. Seven of wands. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I need new glasses. With the mice. 23 breaking down to a five. Mice is a card of like pests, annoyance. It's also about um, a card of diminishing, like something being being eaten away at. 
something's eating at this per I'm actually gonna eating at this person they're slowly being eaten away at oh I don't like that the longer they stay stagnant there's 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 something gnawing at them about this the longer they stay stagnant Some of the two wands for Capricorn regarding this spread. Wow, that's it. Overall, wow. Three sevens. Three sevens out of three cards. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> this is the seven of swords with uh, the letter communication and information and news. This person wants to communicate. Wow. Female, ace of, uh, ace of Swords, and then we have the Sickle. The Sickle. Communication has stopped with a fe with this uh, female. And it's put this person in a place of stagnancy, and they don't know what to do. And it's like, it's slowly eating at them. It's kind of sad, actually. It's slowly eating at them. I'm also getting something with declining health. Declining health. It's like the second communication stopped with this person, their health really took a decline. A major decline. Major. God, the three sevens is killing me. Um, this person has really halted themselves on being on their path and being on their purpose. And with the removal of this of the communication with this feminine energy, uh, it's I hate to say the universe is trying to get them to do something about it, but that's exactly how it seems. Their health took a turn the second that that happened. And it's to get them moving. And instead of moving, they stayed stagnant. Oh, geez. Wow. So let's move on to this energy. Someone knocking on my door? No, I'm going to say no. Uh, the fear of just going for it. The fear of going for it. I feel like this feminine energy is supposed to be part of this person's path. And when communication stopped, this person didn't know what to do with themselves. And they really should have just gone up and done something about it. And they didn't. They didn't. And now they're just really halting their purpose. It's almost like they're wasting time. And I don't ever like to say it like that. They're also worried this person's over them. And again, it's like they're afraid to be this person. They're afraid to be this person and what it means to be that person and the responsibilities that come with that, the consequences that come with that. It's honestly, it almost feels like just growing up. This person doesn't want to grow up. Yeah, they don't want to grow up. Let's look at the fear. Hmm. Let's do another deck here. Well, let's do honest truth. Let's do honest truth. Talk about the fear. Talk about the full universe. <laughs> that was weird. Talk about the full universe. This deck is having. This deck is being st oh stubborn. <laughs> stubborn. Okay. They know what they're supposed to do. I like they really they know. They actually know that they want to say they're confused. They ain't confused. They're just afraid. They'd rather say they're confused than afraid. This person's got a little ego issue going on. Tell about the full in reverse. Jesus. Woo! Three of Wands, Aries energy. Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. King of Wands in reverse, more Leo energy could also be fire or air, and the Ace of Wands. They know what they want, they just don't want to go for it. They're too afraid. Seven of Wands in reverse. That's fear, that's I don't like to say coward. I don't like that word because I feel like it's really heavy. But that's exactly what this is. Three of Wands, there's a longing from afar, there's actual distance. It could be emotional, it doesn't have to be physical. But King of Wands in reverse, they're not going for what they actually have passion for. Ace of Wands, because why? They don't have the courage to do it. They don't have the courage to do it. They're afraid. It's really sad. Like I said, they know. They ain't confused. They ain't confused. We also have the king and queen of wands on the board. It's a true pair situation with this feminine energy. Tell me about the fool in reverse. That was weird how that came out. Tell me about the fool in reverse for my Capricorns. Oh, tell me about the fool in reverse for my Capricorns.
How about the full in reverse for my Capricorns? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. They're not putting effort into it. Talk about the full in reverse. Jesus, Six of Cups in reverse. I'm getting disappointment with that. This person's disappointed in themselves for whatever happened in the past between the between these energies. Talk about the full in reverse. I'm also getting traumatic um, history. Traumatic romantic history. Um, this person, the way they've dealt with people before, it's like, how do I say this? They come across people and there seems to be tragedy that takes place. And that's been traumatic for this person. It's made them very fearful. Oh my God, that makes sense. Responsible for the person's heart. This person's dealt with um, individuals that, um, God, how do I say this? It's like, it's, it feels really heavy. Uh, God, I don't, know how, I don't even know how to like talk about this kind of energy. Where it's like their partners would fall apart if the relationship wasn't going right. Or if they were doing something that um, their partner didn't approve of. Like they'd fall apart. They don't want to have that responsibility this person's never had a healthy relationship. Talking about the full in reverse. Talking about the full in reverse. Page of Swords. Page of Swords doesn't always have to be spying. It could also be communication. This person, I think, is very um, immature for their age. Very immature for their age. And like I said, it's like it's like that growing up thing. Afraid to grow up afraid to grow up um it's also a card of analyzation of having clarity and trying to sit down and understand a situation they've thought about this a lot which is why they have a lot of fear over energy we have six of pentacles in reverse taurian energy they're they're i don't want to say selfish i don't want to say that but it's like it's not giving to others they don't want to deal with other people they don't want to give to others because of this weird fear of being responsible for someone's heart so they just push love away didn't we deal with people like these already? <laughs> I feel like this might be someone like re coming back from the dead or coming back into your consciousness here, Capricorn. I really feel like this is someone's energy that is energetically connected to you. It doesn't feel like yours. This feels like someone who's got a lot of healing to do. It feels like energies we haven't dealt with in a while in the collective. So this is interesting that it's coming up like this. So like I said, they're not putting effort into moving forward or moving on or going to where they're supposed to be. And they're afraid to grow up. They want to be this, but they are afraid of what it means to be this. So we have someone in our complex who plays drums. I love music. I think instruments are amazing. But if you live in an apartment complex, why would you buy like a full on real set of drums and think it's OK to play that whenever you feel like it? <laughs> I would think that that'd be banned, but whatever. Anyway, Capricorns. Two really intense reads, two really heavy reads. Um, 43 minutes, we can do another. Let's do one more, let's do one more. Uh, I wanna do it a little different this time though. Let me think, let me think. Oh, those drums. Actually, I might not be able to do another one. Um, it probably doesn't even sound that loud on the camera, but it's so loud here. Um, yeah, Capricorns. I'm sorry. I do want to do another one, but those drums, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a reading. I've been actually very fortunate that it doesn't happen too often when I'm doing readings, but it's happening now. So I'm sorry, but those were two really strong reads. A lot of information in both of those. It does feel like for some of you that these two readings will be connected. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that for your birthday bonus reading. And guys, I'm just the messenger. I know some of you guys do not want to hear about people like this, like especially in this last one. Even myself, I was like, that like, when was the last time we dealt with these energies? <laughs> but I am just the messenger and someone had to hear that, okay? But I do hope, hope it was helpful and insightful. And Patreon, by the way, is almost set up with the new structure. Almost. We're so close. But go ahead and check it out anyway and check out Vimeo and Instagram. Excuse me. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great birthday season, Cappies. Namaste.